Yeah. Okay, I'm here with Jacob uh, Lillemos. He's the curator of a group of work of a big oeuvre of an artist who goes by the name of Sonia Landy Sheridan. It's the first time that she's having a solo show in, in Europe, yes. How comes it took so long? I think one explanation might be that um, she very deliberately chose not to work with the gallery world. She very deliberately uh, chose to work within a university context where she would have the means uh, and she would have the freedom to do whatever she wanted to. I mean, her whole work is basically very democratic both in its approach to students but also in terms of economy. So this, this for instance is, is done with a, with a color printer or color uh, photocopy machine, color yes, the first Xerox. commercially available uh, photocopy color machine called the 3M Color in Color. Yeah, that's the first thing she did, so photocopy. that's why we're showing these. She went to the store, got a sandwich and made images of it and Still today, all more than 40 years later, they still have that glow of her first excitement, I think. So it was a complete uh, mix between scientific experiments and artistic expression. Okay. Well, an interesting anecdote here leading up to the formation of Generative System was that she was working in Chicago already in the 60s uh, as a teacher. And um, she would use the Xerox uh, technology to produce protest banners. She was. Uh, participating in the protests like everyone else in the university at the time. The anti-war. Anti-war and, and, and so on. <coughs> so, so she has some kind of punk attitude in a way or hacker attitude about La Lettre. It's not uh, this kind of a wild liberated 60s mm -hmm. rebellion. It's, it's a really uh, m much more uh, in, in, a, in some way quiet and determined kind of rebellion where she built up this amazing institution that for 10 years was a, a powerhouse of creativity in, in Chicago. Which is really interesting to learn since like her, her sujet and her motives like here the flowers from the thermo printer, the sandwich etc. doesn't hold that much visual political protest information no. in, in, in the first. No, and I think that when, when everyone else was going around handing out propaganda uh, sheets in Chicago, she handed out this uh, book, a booklet called uh, the inner landscape where she would reflect more on kind of her personal ex experience and, and philosophical reflections on subjectivity, uh, on time and color and so on. Mm. So um, she comes from a very um, political background in terms of, of her parents were politically involved but she was always very aware that being an artist was not the same as being a propagandist. Mm.